Well, good morning. Well, I'm actually excited to get on the water today, but as you can see from behind me, <laughs> we still got heaps of rain. Had like a week and a half, two weeks of torrential rain and uh, wind, so it's not been good. So I'm actually keen for this to clear. It's meant to clear in the next couple of hours and just blow past out there. So hopefully we can um, we can get it done, get something done at least today, tomorrow. It's it's meant to get good over the next four days. So hopefully we're. Um, we're in the wheelhouse there, so let's shoot out, put a rain jacket on, and uh, get into it. I have been out this, this uh, river mouth before, but you know, things can change, especially with the soft sand. But I think the channel goes from here, sandbank there, the channel goes around into the mangroves, around that spit, and then we shoot out the mouth, so it's pretty shallow from memory. We should be all right, and anyway, let's get up and Get out of here. Not too bad, considering. Oh, not that one. It's all right. I wasn't lying. It's um, it's wet. Like the sea state's very nice. It's quite calm, but that uh, this misty, misty rain out here is all very grey and gloomy, but. Gonna start here, then we got another spot down there, and another spot down there. Work our way along until all this burns up. We're gonna try this spot here. So let's put this on and get into it. Okay, nothing here. Birds go, they're going off. Did I scare them? Or? Looks like they're going to eat some bait. There's a good light of pressure here on this edge. You got this, you got some merge rocks here, you got bait and birds working out here. Current coming around this corner here, 12 meters. I don't know, we're in, we're in 9, 10 here. I'll just see what these birds do, but I want to hit these, this submerged rock over here. It looks pretty good. Good signs. Let's just put a speculator out there. Yep, there's one. Oh. Yep, there he is. Has he got it? Yep, he got it alright. Oh, yep. Oh, no, he's off. Yep, there's another one on. No, off. Oh, there's another one on. That's a GT. A couple of them out of gold. That's what the birds are circling. It's waiting for them to push that bait up, obviously. Good little G boy. Come here, mate. Just gotta watch the submerged rocks and we're good. There's like a couple of bommies like here and here, which is what I was fishing, but these fish were sitting out a little wider there, just on that bait. Little fella. Come here. There we go, little GT. Woo. Go. Yeah, on stick bait. Perfect. You can get that out. A few of his mates had a go out of it as well. Had a go at it. Sitting a little bit wider there. But there we go. Not a bad little specy. So we'll get him unhooked. Get him back in the water. There it is there. Launched. Ready, bud? Oh, there we go. Come back over there to the rock. The bait here is ridiculous. Look at that. There's probably a shark on top there. Oh, that's fish. Oh, I just dropped it to the bottom. Nice. Oh, come off. Out. Oh, he's back, back on. on. There we go. Must, Must be a mackerel. Doesn't feel like a mackerel. Could be a GT, eh? Well, I don't know what it is. Every time I call it, I get it wrong anyway. There's that, that much bait here. It's ridiculous. I don't even know. Come off again. Man. Uh... Oh, my God. Are you kidding? Hook gone. Straight up, dude. 
Look at that, just slice straight through, dude. There's one, yep. I didn't really see anything on the sound, I just sort of... Oh, sharked, sharked. Oh. Little GT, you were gonna get sharked. He sort of did get sharked, didn't he? He kind of did, yeah. Oh, did he? Did they get you good? Oh. I think he'll survive that. Oh, is it even worth fishing here now? We know there's bulk sharks hanging around. If we get anything good, it's gone. Look at that, they got him on the tail there. <laughs> Luckily, I think you're going to be alright, don't I? I think you're going to be alright, dude. Hey, he's gone. There's one. There's one. Get up. Yeah, that's a, this is like a better thing. Better thing. Now, come on up. Come on. Don't get shocked. Oh no, there's sharks down there. Uh, oh, I sharked. Yep. Sharked, 100% sharked. Yeah, sharked. Ah, you. Ah. <sighs> Felt that sharking, eh? <laughs> oh, look at the commotion. Look at that. Oh my Jesus. Sharked. Look at that. Ugh. What a pain in the ass. So I think what we'll do now is we'll go in a bit on these shallower sides of the islands, because there's deep side, shallow side, the other side, and we'll just try and get some little reefies or some little trouties and um, see if we can get something to, to put in the old ice box. So let's do it. There's one. Oh, I saw him eat that. <laughs> the Spanish flag. Come here, little flag boy. Oh. There's one. Yep. Oh, it's only a little trout, though. It is a trout, but she's only little. Little trout. Too small, buddy. Mm. There's one. On the bounce. What's that? Yeah, there we go. That feels better. Feels a bit better. Oh. Feels much better. Much better -y. Much better -y. Had two cracks out, I don't know. Oh, it's a decent trouty. That's gonna be us, I think. That's gonna be us. That's a decent trout. Come on there, Mr. Trout. There we go, that's a decent trout. Little trout did a little double take on the prawn there. Now, unfortunately for him, he's going in the ice box. All right, now we've done that. We've sort of got our big fish out a little bit this morning and then as I said, this would all burn up and it'd be a beautiful day. So it's about, what time is it, 11 or something, 11, 12. So we might go and cook that fella and uh, have some smoker. So I'm very happy. Somewhere here, maybe? It would be a good idea to go and cook that fish on the island there where I just caught it, but I was flying the drone because I was like, oh, this looks pretty cool. I'll get me like pulling up on the sand and stuff. It's going to be cinematic. And uh, yeah, I noticed there's a sign there. So I flew my drone over there and there's a sign that says private property, no landing. I was like, how do you own an island? How do you own the beach? It's very weird. So 
gonna go to this other island here and have a look at it and see if we can do it on there. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. Fill it here, or do we fill it out there? We have to fill it on the back of the boat. Let's see if I can knock a fillet off this with a non filleting knife. There we go, pretty good. And then we can take this stuff over, get started. So I'd love to have a little fire and a little camp and everything with what I've got here, but this is a national park. So one, you can't collect firewood in a national park, and two, you can't have fires. And I don't think you can camp either, so you can't have fires on any of these islands here. So pretty disappointing, eh, to be honest. Go back to the ute and we'll cook it up there instead. I mean, I could have just done it, no one would know, but I mean, someone would know because I'm putting it on the internet and um, there's always an expert on the internet somewhere that would know exactly where I am, so I'm trying to do the right thing here and it just doesn't make for magical, very magical viewing, does it? Unfortunately not, so we'll go in and we'll cook something in the car, which is far less glamorous. It would have been nice to fish, um, to cook this fish on a beach, but obviously we can't do that because there's like a million different rules about, um, you know, where you can and can't camp and where you can't light fires. So it would have been good to have this on a campfire or something on the, on the island, but you can't always get what you want. So, we're going to cook it here, where it's infinitely less cinematic, but... He's on. Boom. That's a lot of fish, eh? But I haven't eaten today, so... I'll most likely be able to get through all that. You can tell I was a catch and release fisherman for a long time. But, um... I've kind of changed. I've kind of changed a bit. Living on the road, because... You are, or well, I am, literally trying to live off, you know, $20 a day. And it's like you're throwing all this produce back. Kind of ridiculous how much produce I'm throwing back. So I'm changing my tune just to touch. Like that fish there, I'll probably get three meals out of him. Or her. Ladies can be fish too. Which, you know, save me a few bob, and if I can do that you know, more, more often than not, then, uh, you know, we'll be a little bit better off. Plus, it's really good for you too, actually. Just grill a few of those. So, avocados, cut a couple of pieces of cheese. Doesn't matter how you cut cheese, how sharp a knife, how big a knife you've got. It always goes through the cheese at the same speed, eh? Couple of leaves, couple of leaves of lettuce. This isn't really cooking, but, you know, what are you gonna do? Bit of this stuff, dynamite. Beautiful fish, one minute warning on that. And I'll just spurt that on there. Oh, I hope today wasn't too much of a Disappointment or a letdown. I mean, we still caught fish. It was a bit of a strange day anyway. Like, we've had two weeks of just torrential rain. It wasn't as clear out there as I've seen it in, you know, like, not exactly this area, but, you know, that sort of depth of water and out that far or whatever. So, yeah, it's definitely got a little ways to go before. fresh fish on there so yeah hopefully it wasn't too bad of a day like it was a bit of a it was a bit of an odd day but um weather's meant to be better tomorrow and the next day is on par again so we got sort of two really nice days and then probably another day like today where it sort of rained and carried on and it was a bit weird so 
definitely out there tomorrow and the next day, so hopefully we can make something happen. Um, it was a little bit more exciting, not to say this wasn't exciting, I mean we went out there and caught fish first day we've been out there, so hopefully, hopefully it was still entertaining and um, that's it. I'm going to eat this, you're going to like it and subscribe it and comment and then I'm going to see you on the next one. <laughs>